Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. So in this week's video we're going to be decorating the front cover of my Wreck This Journal. So I've been doing this series for quite a while now. And we've completed the second of the book. It is looking... <laughs> But yeah, I realise I still haven't done the front cover, which is ridiculous. So I think we need to do that today, as it's a brand new year. Let's start it off with the cover of my Wreck This Journal. So it's an interesting one in the Wreck This Journal because it opens up a few times and you have all these tasks on the inside. Um, so we've got things like cut two holes here for peeking at people. Now you're a spy, so you can hold it up. And then we've got things like dip this corner in liquid, place your mug here. So the only bit that actually affects the front cover is cutting the two holes for peeking at people. But yeah, it's a clever little thing because you get to uh, really spread the book out and make this uh, extra large book so you can hide yourself. I'm thinking Zentangli, a little bit like I did my, my video of when I went to Portugal and I painted this leaf and everyone loved my leaf. So I'm thinking of doing a similar sort of design on the front cover. First up, we need to gesso the whole of the cover. So it'll be nice and simple to draw on. So this brush is absolutely fantastic. I've been using it for absolutely ages i've used it for all sorts of paints and it never gets ruined so i use this for my gesso in but i've even used it i don't know if you remember back in the day i actually painted a kitchen um for my daughter and i used this brush and it didn't get ruined it's insane so this holds up well if you need something to do your gesso in or your you know your hardy paints with How cute is this dispenser that I got? <laughs> I am going to rudely interrupt this video just to say thank you so much for all your support this year. It's been a really enjoyable year because we've seen such growth in the channel. It's been lovely getting to know my little community of people that enjoy my videos. And so yeah, I just wanted to say a big thank you. So now I'm adding in the lines. It's a bit like a spider web at the moment, but then when you start blocking in the colour, it almost turns into like a stained glass effect. It's really, really nice. So I'm using my golden acrylic full body paint to do this. And I'm going in with about uh, like two shapes with one colour and I spread them out. So eventually I've got this full page of lots of different colours using blues, greens, yellows, orange, pink. You really make everything stand out nice and bright because that's what just gives it that little bit more of a Portugal theme I felt. I, I recently got this palette which has turned out really, really handy because when I'm using my golden acrylics, I don't want to waste them, you know, because they're, they're a little bit expensive. So when I use a normal palette, sometimes I use too much paint and it's such a waste. Whereas with this, you use it as your palette, but then you can put the silicon lid on it. So it keeps your paint fresh. When there's a good glob of it, it will keep it fresh for weeks. So I, I've really enjoyed this palette. It's been really, really helpful. Now I'm going in with my gold Posca pen. This is the thickest, widest nib that you can get and I love it. So yeah, basically I'm filling in the spine because the spine is barely there anymore. <laughs> um, because uh, yeah, the, the book's so thick that the spine is kind of like crushed into this tiny little thing. So I thought there's no point in carrying on the Zentangle pattern because it would just be too difficult. So a nice gold spine I think works very well. And now I'm tidying up all 
those blocks of colour. And this is the very satisfying bit. It looks like a stained glass window and it's so yummy. And I almost wanted to stop there because it looked so neat and beautiful. But no, I wanted to do the patterns. I think the patterns really make it stand out and make it more unique. So I went in with my Posca paint markers and my Tooley Art paint pens and just did loads of designs and got creative and just went freely with my pen and made these lovely patterns. So last Monday I started a brand new series on my channel and it's 365 days of art. Now it is turned out pretty well as people seem to be enjoying it so far. So this is going to be quite a challenge for me because I'm going to have to do this every single day for a whole year. Um, so it'd be really good if other people want to take part of this. If you know anyone that has this book please join in with me and keep me doing it. So, but each Monday, what I'm going to do is do a few prompts with you all. And yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. So if you haven't seen that video, go on over to my videos. It's 365 days of art and it was the start on Monday. So let's see how well we can do with that. I really hope you enjoyed that video and you enjoyed the whole process of creating this fantastic front and back cover. And I will see you next week. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. Or head over to the Cassie Projects on Facebook, Instagram or TikTok. You can also head over to my website at thecassieprojects.co.uk to find stickers, art prints and even a free gift. Feel free to binge some more videos by clicking the buttons or I'll see you next week. Bye!